Hey guys, so iOS 17, Developer Beta 7, and Public Beta 5 have been out for a couple of days now. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for a couple of days. I also like to talk about some of the bugs, bug fixes, battery performance, and everything else in between. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now the first thing I would like to talk about is AirPods. With iOS 17, Developer Beta 7, Apple has improved Bluetooth connectivity and reliability for AirPods and I'm happy to report so if you were having any Bluetooth issues with your AirPods on iOS 17 the latest beta 7 actually improved the Bluetooth connection and reliability another thing I've seen improvement on is the auto switching with the latest AirPods beta firmware and iOS 17 developer beta 7 auto switching is a lot more precise something that I wanted to mention and for the first time Siri now explain conversation awareness the first time it is activated on your AirPods one of the new features coming to AirPods on the latest iOS 17 developer beta 7 when this feature is activated Siri will actually explain it in your ear so basically if you have AirPods Pro and you're talking to someone conversation awareness will switch your AirPods to transparency mode for the person that you're talking to of course you can hear the person better so this feature is now explained using Siri when you have your AirPods in your ear for the first time it is activated so improvements overall for AirPods and iOS 17 developer beta 7 now something else I've noticed after running iOS 17 developer beta 7 for the last couple of days is that the haptic feedback when you enable the mute switch on your iPhone is now back. Now in beta 6 Apple removed all haptic feedback when you enable the mute switch on your iPhone but not only did they bring back the haptic feedback when you enable the mute switch but it's also a different pattern and the actual feedback is slightly stronger coming from the haptic engine on your iPhone. If you're running iOS 17 developer beta 7 go ahead and enable that mute switch and you'll notice that the haptic feedback and vibrations in beta 7 are different and more pronounced. It's just something that I wanted to mention that I didn't cover in my initial coverage. Now the next thing I want to talk about is some of the bug fixes within the latest iOS 17 developer beta 7 and public beta 5. Now for those of you having issues with Wi-Fi, I'm happy to report that the latest iOS 17 developer beta 7, at least for me, has improved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth reliability, so I'm happy to report that. Now there was a few issues with the lock screen, some that I've encountered, some that I didn't encounter, and it appears that Apple has fixed most of the bugs and issues within the latest beta. So in the lock screen, sometimes when you would get notifications, a lot of users will report that notification patterns will be broken and the animations were broken. But according to most of you guys, these issues have been fixed. I did not encounter these issues with notifications, but those of you that did, apparently Apple has fixed notification bugs within the lock screen. Now in the lock screen also, if you were playing Apple Music and you got a notification, when notifications were overlap your Apple Music screen, on the lock screen you couldn't go back to the music you would have to actually remove all notifications that has been fixed and now you can interact with your apple music and notifications will just go back to where they're supposed to within the latest beta which i'm happy to report and some of you guys were reporting issues with apple music the service itself i didn't encounter this issue but apparently according to most of you guys apple music service issues have been resolved here as well now one issue i did have was that when i put my iphone to charge using magsafe the iphone's display would actually become unresponsive after having to charge for about 10 minutes or so I would tap on the screen and it wouldn't respond until I actually press the power button or the side button well that has been fixed within the latest beta so Apple continues to improve and fix as many bugs as possible with the latest iOS 17 developer beta 7 with beta 6 they improved a lot there was a lot of bug issues and performance improvements within iOS 17 developer beta 6 and beta 7 continues to just improve upon that. Now in terms of performance, I want to talk about performance here quickly because I do have benchmarks for both the beta 6 and beta 7. We did see a slight decrease in performance from beta 6 to beta 7, but you can't really tell in an everyday use. The reliability of the software just feels right. It feels ready. This beta really ends on the letter A on the build number, which usually means that the next beta could be the RC or the actual release candidate coming here shortly. We'll talk about expected release date here but if we take a look here at the actual benchmarks or performance test here we have iOS 17 developer beta 6 and beta 7 so in beta 6 the single core score was 2646 versus 2614 so a slight drop in single core performance and the multi-core performance we have 6901 versus 6598 
on beta 7. So we see a slight decrease in terms of performance, but that's okay. That's something that you really want to notice on everyday use. Right now, this beta feels a lot more stable in my opinion. And when it comes to battery performance, I do have to say, once again, we see a slight improvement in terms of battery every single day i can now get through my entire day this beta just feels right this one is almost ready for prime time ios 17 could be hitting our devices here in the next couple of weeks now when it comes to the next beta when can we expect the next beta that's always a question and it's going to get a little tricky from here on out as we sit in beta 7 next week we'll have a lot to do in regards to what would happen in the future in regards to the official release so if we get a new beta on August the 28th or 29th and next week that means that the RC will most likely become available on the week of the 11th and the official release will be around September the 18th or the 19th if we do not get a beta next week on the week of the 28th or 29th here if we don't get a beta next week that means the RC will most likely be available on the week of the 4th and that means that the iOS 17 official final release will be on the week of the 11th so everything is riding on next week if Apple doesn't release a beta it means that they're ready for the rc which will most likely become available on the first week of september and then the official release on the 11th if we do get a beta next week that means ios 17 will most likely release on the 18th yes it is a little tricky a little confusing but next week we should know around tuesday august 29th what will happen with ios 17 in regards to official release dates and next beta from here on out but we're really really close guys we have about one more beta the rc and official release here coming up so stay tuned of course Thank you for watching. Just wanted to share that information with you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.